what advice would you give, you know, young, I mean, most women maybe mm. reaching their 40s or 50s, mm. they start thinking about this right. um, and then start changing their diet and change their lifestyle. But how about younger women, late 20s, yeah. 30s, who are in that career, mm -hmm. you know, driving mode and saying, that, okay, I don't have time for this now, I can look at this later um, because my body is still fit and everything. I mean, what advice would you give them really um, towards that? Wake up. <laughs> because what you're putting in your body now, everything that you consume is turning into you. Mm. And, uh, you know, you're, we have a lot of tolerance in our bodies. Yeah. But once you hit 40, um, you've bioaccumulated by that time all kinds of stuff and you've depleted your body of nutrients. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a really stressful job, you know, be eating really beautiful green live foods. Mm -hmm. Take some quality nutri nutritional support like B vitamins, yeah. which helps in estrogen metabolism. Make sure that you go to sleep and, again, watch that caffeine and alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's the women in their 30s and 40s who are presenting with the PMS, the depression, the anxiety, um, you know, a lot of changes, mood swings, mood swings, lot of mood swings um, and you need to be able to, to deal with that now because if you don't deal with it now, it gets worse. Mm. And, uh, uh, you know, do, do, like said, do move your body every day, do get yeah. some kind of exercise. Yeah. And, um, um, and how about don't wait? <laughs> don't wait. Yes, don't, don't wait because, and also because if you're trying to get pregnant. Yeah. Yes. And I would say educate yourself because there's there's a lot of great. Um, educational uh, groups out there that are teaching, uh, mm. that are helping to raise awareness. Yeah. Environmental Working Group, Pesticide Action Network, Organic Consumers Association, um, SeedsOfDeception.com. Those are, uh, I would get online, look at those, mm -hmm. and start becoming active because your children and grandchildren are being affected and your fertility is being affected right now. And uh, yeah, your risk for cancer is being affected right now, even if you're 20 years old. Mm. I'm going to go back and check myself. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay. So I know you're quite passionate about women's mm -hmm. issues and everything. And you know, where would um, women can get more information in terms of just your website? Do you have lots of information on your website? Uh, on my website, it's kristensencenter.com. C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N-S-E-N. Kristensencenter.com. There's a... Uh, there's a lot of information, and I also would uh, ask folks to look at the Institute for Functional Medicine because this is where I got my training, and uh, we are branching into England now. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Person. And there you have it. Oh my goodness, it's uh, quite a lot of mouthful, and you know, I'm really excited, really, because you know now women have a choice on how they approach their own hormones and own menopause, but the take home message is start as early as possible because you are really the future and you're creating the future generation so this is Dr. Terry if you want more information you've got everything um, on my website drterry.com and I shall see you very soon bye bye